keep thinking I'm sweating, but it's the glitter there, it's like, mm. Right. last Halloween um, where I did as a spider queen and I do feel looking back at it now that the makeup itself didn't really evoke spider queen the way I wanted it to so I'm gonna do very similar but kind of just add a few little twists and things in there um, in comparison to what I did last time so the first step is gonna be block out my brows something I didn't do last year So I'm just going to use a angled brush to go in with the matte black at the top, the one that I'm pretty certain, because I've got the single of it, is Raven. It's black, I'm going to use it to line around where this is, bring it down where I will eventually have a flick. Beautifully matte, 
light foundation and that is in calico this is just I like really powerful foundation anyway so it's pretty much as pale as I can find Unfortunately my camera cut out in the middle of recording there, so I've just finished my foundation off. I've gone over with my loose translucent powder everywhere, um, just to set it. I've then taken, so I've just taken quite a flat top brush and it's quite thick and used again that Raven and just kind of chiseled a line down on each line very gently and then buffed it out with blending brush. On this side you can see I've gone a little bit heavier with it and it hasn't blended as well, but on this side, although you can see the line, it's a lot more diffused, more gently. That's what you want to be aiming for. If you end up with that, you need to kind of redo it. Um, but because I'm not going out, I'm not really bothered about redoing it. So you can see how it doesn't work if you go really heavy with it. You just essentially just want to brush across the black, quick line down, and then blend really quickly. And um, you can always just then add little dashes and blend in. Again, you also want in kind of your temple area going up to your forehead on either side you can see it's kind of got this like greyish kind of tone going on then blush wise you don't really want to go in with colour because if you put in colour but what I'm going to use is for a bit of highlight because that will help to give that kind of the gaunt kind of look if you've got a lighter colour here especially a bit of glitter and um, it's to go in with that new kind of colour again but just on your finger is more than enough than what you need and just literally just above your cheekbone blend it in across there like that and again I'd aim for more the centre of the face rather than the outside but you can see on this side where I've done it it's just pretty much a streak going up here uh, but it's mainly here is where it is um, there we go that looks a little better because it's not adding colour it's a bit more greyish kind of looking so it goes with the look a lot better um, and that's essentially all you want on the cheeks you can maybe put a little bit of colour on here if you feel like you look really gaunt and you don't like that look you don't like it like it so as usual angled brush Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and this is in chocolate particularly pointy one and you're doing it like up here and then like your lip stops here anywhere between where your lip line is and the point colour it in black I'm not gonna because I've got quite pointy lips on my side it's totally fine for me but if you haven't 
do that because it will create that illusion depth and as though that's the really well. When you try and do the outer corner you're not going to blend it as easily. Um, what I realised is that I could actually use my same cream contour, cream highlight just for underneath the brows and um, which I then put some white over top and the cream contour kit I use is Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit in the lightest shade which is the shade banana. Um, as you can see, I really need a new banana. I'm running out of that rapidly. So I have put that on there. Next step is going to be the lipstick. Obviously, we'll try and finish off the lips there. So I'm going to use one of my lime prime lipsticks in Wicked. I think I'm going to use this on here, but I'm going to use Wicked. I'm going to aim mainly for the centre bit and then blend it. So I'll show you how to do this. So you just literally put it in the middle and then it's not rubbing, it's more smushing. Not. Doing that, you're going to end up with lipstick everywhere. So just roll it, but notice how it's pulled it down to near enough the ends. Maybe we've just got that last quarter that's black. But I would also just bring it up into the lines a little bit more. In the very centre portion, you want to try and get the lines that they're non-existent anymore but I still feel like I need a bit more red in there so I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills in Heathers take a little bit of this and just put it right and set not lots just literally and there you see that's just brought a little bit of redness in it isn't very red because this is more of a burgundy kind of colour but if I just put this on on its own it'd be too bright so that's why you kind of need that darker shade but Adding that little bit of red, you could even add a little bit of your red eyeshadow in there, and that would work great as well. Um, next step, I think we just want to try and finish off the eyes now. So, as usual, going to the Maybelline Master Graphic. Like I said before, if anyone knows where you can get something similar to this, like the Sharpie marker kind of eyeliner pen, let me know because I really need to know this. So, using that black kind of curve that you created before. Use that just to kind of join it up the outer edge of the eye. Bring it across your eyelid. Um, just kind of aim for the eyeshadow. laying lashes, stick them on, whatever. I'm taking this off in a few minutes, so I'm really not going to apply lashes to this finished look. Um, on the day, I didn't wear lashes either, and so I'm going to use the excuse that I didn't wear lashes at the time, so I don't want them. Um, but in all honesty, I wish I had wore lashes, like really nice, big, full on ones, would look awesome with this. My go to whenever I do drag is the MAC double ended mascara, I don't know what it's called, but it's one where you've got Thin brush, thick brush. Not that the thick brush ever gets used, um, but I love how much of an extractor it's got on it in the smaller brush. So it's a very small amount, so it means that I can do it really lightly, put on forces, put another really light coat on on top, and it's not really clumpy and sticking everything together. So. Essentially, you just want to put a light layer of mascara on, pop your forces on top if you're going to wear them, and that should be totally fine. 
Now, one of the things that I missed off last year that I was going to do and then decided against it was to add like little spiders on the face somewhere. Um, so I decided this time I'm actually going to do it. So going back in with the Aquafix, I'm just going to not destroy the whole face. Um, get a little bit on the brush and I'm just going to glue of how it sits. You can see if I try and glue the body, it's not going to get close to my face, so I'm going to have to glue the feet. So again, the camera cut out just before I stuck on the last piece. So I just stuck on a glow-in-the-dark one onto my forehead that I've painted the back end with purple glitter. And I would always opt for sticking on something like this. You can even use, just use eyelash glue. If you haven't got Aquafix, you use eyelash glue, it does the same thing. I wouldn't use Aquafix as eyelash glue, however, because I don't know how toxic it is for around the eye area. I only ever use eyelash glue around when it comes to the eyelash area. This ends our Halloween tutorials. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series of Halloween locks. And I look forward to filming more videos. So as always, thank you for watching. And so as always, thank you for watching. And don't forget to be honest, be fierce, be beautiful, and we'll see you next time. Bye!